Good morning. Precisely. Okay, then. What's up? I was just gonna sneak back into practice. My mom's been on my case. She took me to the hospital. She insisted after I told her about my knee. She made the appointment without telling me, so there was nothing I could do. 
I don't get why my mom and the rest of the team are acting like this. It's exhausting having everyone up in your business. Today they took some x-rays. They'll give me the results in a few days. I'm not sure why that has to take so long. Oh, hey! Don't tell anyone about me going to the hospital, right? I'm counting on you. I feel bad for always asking you to keep things quiet. Sorry about that. The doctor told me to take it easy today, but we should still get to practice. Oh, wait, if you're leaving, that means practice is already over. Well, guess I'll just go home. See ya. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Registering personas? Is overriding acceptable? All registered. Ah, fusion, is it? What kind of persona do you desire? This persona is powerful. Please choose what skills to inherit. It appears it will receive a fair amount of extra power. So it begins. This persona, yes? You can't carry any more than that. Now then, let's begin. Very well. We look forward to your next visit. Good 
day. Here are my requests. Most excellent. Now, let's hear your report. How splendid. How many times do I have to explain it? It's like I'm talking to a moron. Why would you even accuse me? The cigarette butt was in the boys' bathroom, right? Then can you prove it wasn't a girl who brought it and left it there? <sighs> with that logic, this is never gonna end. I'm done with this. You're on your own. Neanderthals. Try not to hold it against them. They think like children. They just can't help it. Sooner or later, they'll see the light. 
Then I'll earn their trust, and they'll learn to respect me. I don't mean to isolate myself. I'm just remaining detached. Someone always gets hurt in any relationship sooner or later. I suppose I've gone on long enough. I, I apologize. No point in having a meeting today if no one else is here. Let's go. Emiri is... oh, that's Miss Kano's first name. Anyway, Emiri's really popular with the guys. And I kind of took her away from them, you know? Like she became my girl before they even had a chance. Turns out Emiri's a really strict teacher when it comes to grades. At home, though, she's a real sweetheart. I love how her attitude changes when she's with me. Yeah, good-looking people just flock together, you know? It's like a law of attraction. I know, right? It's like we're actually in a TV show. Anyway, what about you? Make any progress with Takeba-san? 
I feel guilty hogging all the happiness, so I'm gonna wish for you to be happy too. And hey, don't tell anyone about me and Emiri, okay? Because teachers aren't allowed to date students. And I only told you because I trust you. Look at the time. I'm way behind on my favorite show. Well, I guess that's because real life is way better than any show right now. So, you're Fukuyama Gishikun, right? Y yes. Relax, there's no need to be nervous. Go on and have a seat. Uh, okay. I just want to quickly mention that everyone did an excellent job uncovering the truth. Ah, and one other thing to report. I've heard that all three girls have regained consciousness. That's great news! From what I understand, they each came to the school around midnight and waited for the security guard to leave. Then, once the dark hour began, they were attacked by shadows near the gate. Because of the situation's similarities to an old ghost story, rumors naturally spread quickly. I knew right from the beginning that it wasn't a ghost. It's all my fault. What? Where'd you get that from? You were the victim in all this. But all of those rumors started because I was absent for so long. That's totally not your fault. I don't think we could have won that fight if you hadn't been there. You saved our lives. That's not something just anyone could have done. Take pride in that. You have a special power that you can use to help others. A special power? We call it Persona. And right now, our group absolutely needs your abilities. Can we count on you to help us? Are you asking me to join you? That's right. Yuricho Senpai. <sighs> I think you'd make a good addition to the team, too. You know we're not trying to pressure you, so if you need some time to think about it... I'll do it. It would be my honor. What? Are you sure? If you do join, you'll have to move into the dorm. That's fine. I'd rather live here than at home anyway. Thank you. We really appreciate this. We'll have the school talk to your parents to resolve any issues. Okay. Thank you. Wait a minute. Aren't we dragging her into this a bit fast? Um, it's okay. Really. One other topic I'd like to discuss is those special shadows. We had another encounter this month. While we still don't know where they're coming from, I do believe Sonata-kun is right. They seem to appear alongside the full moon. This, at least, will help us plan for the future. So, the next full moon is showtime, huh? Knowing when to expect them is a big advantage for us. Now, on the day of the fight, we'll be ready to get in the ring.
this ring. Yeah, for more. 